Welcome to Kiev, Eurovision Song Contest 2017. With us now, we have the big pleasure to speak to the lady that's coming far away north from Iceland, Svala. Hello, Hi. Svala, how are you? I am very good, how are you? <laughs> Fantastic. It's good to be back at Eurovision. It, yes. But it's a family. It's a, it's a big family. I and see that. Everybody is very close here. I yeah. think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. But you also have a connection to, to Eurovision because your daddy has been there. Yeah. Bo yeah. Bo Bo or something. Yeah. He competed for Iceland's behalf in 95, but he also did a lot of the national selections back in the 80s mm -hmm. and 90s. Yeah. Yeah, he did. I know I did ask that in the press conference, but for our radio interview, I'd like to know, was an influence for you to go to Eurovision? Uh, maybe in my su subconscious, I don't know, because I never really planned on competing in Eurovision. Mm -hmm. um, but looking at it now, it might have affected me. I, mm -hmm. It did, because I grew up with my father always competing and, yeah. and all his friends, you know, also competing and going, you know, to the big main com competitions and stuff like that. So it probably did affect me. I just didn't know it until now. Yeah, <laughs> Iceland is not that big, so we've been yeah. to the national final last yeah. year and, and all the artists know each other. Oh, so yeah. have you met like Hera Björg and the others who have been yeah, I know, I know an, them. advisors I, there? I, yeah, I, I know a lot of them personally. Hera, I actually spent a whole day with her working on uh, vocal warm-ups and just tips and tricks, mm -hmm. you know, going into Eurovision. And, um, and also, I, you know, Selma and Johanna and uh, Eithor Inki, Stempi mm -hmm. and Eivi, and I mean, so many people that have competed are my friends. Sikka, Ben Tensus yeah. went three times. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I, you know, they're all good friends of mine, so I'm very, I'm very lucky. <laughs> Fantastic. You also have uh, roots with America, or you, you live in America? Yes. Tell us about that. I've, I've lived in LA for eight years, mm -hmm. and uh, I moved there with my band, Steed Lord, uh, which I was in for 10 years, and uh, we moved there, our management was there, and we were mm -hmm. doing a lot of shows there, so we moved over there and uh, been there ever since, since 2009. And uh, wow, making music, and, wow. and, yeah. I used to work for the American Forces Network for oh, the troops, so wow. that, that's, that's a connection there. That is very interesting. Yeah, AFN, it's called. Oh. Um, what, what type of music did you do there with the band? It's uh, electronic music, mm -hmm. uh, very clubby, uh, like alternative electronic music. Yeah. Okay, and um, uh, how did you become the voice in the judge in, in Iceland? Uh, they just actually just asked me the production in Iceland asked me if I wanted to be one of the judges and mm -hmm. uh, they were looking for four people and uh, I was one of the people that you know came up first on the list and, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought it was a great opportunity to be a mentor and also to be able to just go to Iceland and work okay. and spend time there and because I live you know far away mm -hmm. so I, I thought it was a great opportunity and also just uh, being able to mentor other artists I mm -hmm. think that's so, it's so important and uh, it's been an amazing experience. I've done two seasons and it's just, it's given me so much to be able to help them and support them in their career. Excellent, fantastic. Uh, you also are involved with fashion, mm -hmm. uh, so how do you combine this with music and your songwriter as well? So. Yeah, I, I just, I do it all. I love it. I'm a very creative person and uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a fashion designer. I'm more of a singer with a clothing line because okay. the clothing line is on this, you know, just on the side. It's mm -hmm. something fun to do because I love fashion. Uh, but music is always number one. It's it's my main passion and that's, you know, writing songs and singing is, is my life, you know, so. Well, being a songwriter as well, uh, is there any international artist you really would love to write a song for? Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm a big fan, <laughs> huge fan of Rihanna, so I would, I would love to write for her. Fantastic. The song is Paper, that you have in Orani here in uh, Kiev at the Eurovision Song Contest. Tell us the message in the song and, and uh, what inspired you to create that song? Um, I wanted to write a song about dealing with difficulties in life. Um, when I write music, I, I write very personal lyrics. And this song is about, uh, you know, the that time, it was a kind of dark time when I was dealing with anxiety, when mm. I was a teenager and in my early 20s. And uh, so I wanted to write about dealing with that and overcoming it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, paper is a metaphor for emotions. And because uh, I feel vulnerable and fragile when I'm dealing with those difficulties. Okay. And uh, and it's I put it into like a relationship, like I have a relationship with myself. Because when I'm saying you're under the water trying to pull me under, it's actually me mm. that's pulling myself under. Okay. Um, so it's, I'm talking to myself basically mm -hmm. and because uh, we have a relationship with ourselves because we're with ourselves all day, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, so Paper is about that, it's a very personal song, it's an uh, important song to me because I think it's very important to talk about 
what we go through. We're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And it's you, you don't have to be ashamed of dealing with difficulties. It's, it actually makes you a stronger person. And, um, and we can overcome it together. And if we talk about it, if we support each other, and, uh, you know, nobody's perfect. So that's what the song is about. It's, it's actually a song to inspire people. Mm -hmm. It's... It's exactly. a fantastic message, and I think what you bring across there is it's amazing. Thank you so oh, much for bringing that you. song to us. That's thank really, you so really nice. Much. You've been on the stage this morning rehearsing, yes. first time on the Eurovision stage for yeah. you. Uh, so, what's the feeling to be on that stage and to be focusing tw over 200 million people <laughs> eventually? I know, uh, it's crazy. I mean, I'm just, I loved being on stage. The first run through was more of just me taking it in and hearing mm. it in the, you know, in the in ears yes. and and you know the cameras and the staging and just taking it all in and I feel like every time we ran through it it got better and better and better mm -hmm. because you just want to you want to take everything in and so I was very very happy and I'm happy you know with what we changed today we did a little tweaks mm -hmm. and I'm very happy and I'm excited and I'm, I'm excited to do another rehearsal and so yeah I'm glad. In two days time. Yeah. Svala, thank you so much. All the best of luck. Fingers crossed that you come into the oh, final. Bring Iceland tie in there. Yes, and, thank you. And uh, yeah, then we see you hopefully on Saturday as yes, well. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.